Back in Jamaica, way back when we used to go to primary school, there's a book called I Am A Boy, I Am A Girl, My Name Is Pam, My Name Is Roy. So we tell a story then in a different way you now we call them grow up. Domestic violence, again, we say stop it. Pam was sad and sulky because Roy always made her cry. He was too busy being a boy's trust bully, plus a sour, selfish guy. She was somewhat bewildered as tears rained from her weeping eyes. Her relationship was a smooth sailing, so she told him goodbye. He yelled, if you ever leave, damn, you're gonna die. I'm the one who makes you not break you, so go on if you wanna try. The nosy neighbor from next door shouted at somebody called police. She was by a usual spot at the zinc fence where she peed. Mir was too busy taking a selfie to share a Facebook post. Then suddenly started recording and virally shared it most. The preaching pastor came praying, but counseling never worked. Pam ran away the following day when Roy was out for work. She later found Dick who gave her firm attention. She enjoyed having sex, but oops, no protection. Two months later, she was pregnant and her baby father was around. Her mind went googling, but Dick was never found. Billy Shirley took her up and offered for her to be his bride. She was more than delighted and promised never to leave his side. He thought he was the baby's father. Happiness displayed evidently in his eyes. Billy felt silly when he found out he wasn't so, and later committed suicide. Pam never had good education. She sold back juice to make ends meet. Few months after she gave birth, she was selling her body on the street. Like journey that intricate she prayed and said oh god i can't take no more a year after she bought a car some people call her whore she led to further her education because she knew she wanted to soar no can you guess and tell me who is the janitor at her cell phone closing store big respect thanks someone's in agreement come on somebody put your hand together no.